As a kid growing up here in Georgetown, I lived on the water. Pioneer, visionary, entrepreneur, and the father of scuba diving. The late Captain Bob Soto had many a moniker. To Susie, his wife of more than 30 years and soulmate, she simply knew him as Bob. He was amazing. Amazing is an understatement, really, when you consider how influential Mr. Soto's early work was in today's dive industry. But when he first started out on his underwater business, it was far from plain sailing. He would go to the hotel hotels and the hoteliers would say, no, you're not going to take my guests out and drown them. And so he would slip around to the bars at night, show, you know, films and stuff. He'd take a few people out. They'd go back and rave about it. Word of mouth spread quickly, but Bob's biggest sales asset was Bob himself. He brought this love to the people he took out. And his vivaciousness and his excitement got them excited. And so scuba diving began to grow, and it grew into a really wonderful, wonderful business here and for tourism. Mr. Soto died in March 2015. While many mourned and remembered the man credited for bringing scuba diving not just to the Cayman Islands but to the world, his wife grieved in a different way, fulfilling a promise she made to him to ensure his memory would live on in print. When he died, I, I didn't have time to grieve. I was doing the book. I was fulfilling his, the promise. Bob Soto's biography, aptly titled Extraordinary Adventures, isn't just about his underwater scuba experiences. It charts the life of a true Caymanian hero, growing up in a Cayman a world away from today, to charting his time with the U.S. Navy. But there is one common denominator in every tale, the ocean. It's peaceful, tranquil. Um, you find a bit of your soul and you, you lose your soul to the sea and you're hooked for life. Mr. Soto was hooked for sure and because of his work many others followed him and became equally addicted. He started an industry here that has brought millions of dollars to Cayman and to Caymanians and opened the world of underwater to so many people. One group he honored more than most were the many veterans he stood shoulder to shoulder with, those who served their country in times of conflict. We work together to honor a lot of Caymanians, and I'm very protective of that part of our life. But I want people to go see the monument. We have a, one picture in the book of a little boy about five years old standing there saluting the monument, and that brought tears to my eyes. So the Caymanian seamen were so well respected, and all around the world, and they weren't fools. And so uh, I, I have a duty to the veterans and to the seamen to remain loyal to them as Bob was. And they're wonderful people, and their stories should be told all, always. One story that has now been told and will live for eternity is the story of Bob Soto, Extraordinary Adventures of a Truly Extraordinary Caymanian.